Hello everyone, how's everybody doing? My name's Lex Coop and I'm back. And you know what? I'm going to do a tutorial video. Um, last time I did anything similar to this, I basically showed you my game setup and how I make videos. I am going to make show you guys a tutorial on how to make an outro video. First thing you're going to need is a background. So go into Photoshop. You need a background image that you're going to use. So most, uh, depending on what you're going to be doing, uh, you create a new, and I usually do 720, which is the height, which is the height for the resolution, um, 720 pixels by 1280. So you do 1280 by 720, and we're going to title this. You can do it, at, you don't have to save it at the when you create it, but I'm going to call it Outro Toot. And uh, the higher the resolution, the clearer the images are, and the better it turns out. So go with 200, 1280 by 720. Let's just start this off. So first thing you want to do is um, create your background. So you can do it in different layers and whatnot. So we're going to create a cool-looking... Uh, let's pick a, a cool... Let's go with like a blue... There we go, blue, and we're going to make it, could do orange. Yeah, let's do some orange, maybe a little brighter, maybe a little redder. Yeah, there we go, that looks cool, <laughs> in my eyes anyways. And we're just going to, nope, 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 nope. I wanted it to be roundy, or how about like this? Well, uh, this is going backwards, so let's just do it like so then. Uh, and we are wasting too much time doing this. So, let's say that's good. Alright, that looks superb. Basically, what you want, another thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're not using one color. Because that's how we're going to green screen. It doesn't have to be green, it just has to be one color. There has to be specific color that you're not using through the entire thing. So let's create some text. Uh, we're going to go... Uh, we want it to be diffused because I love diffused. And diffused is a uh, text type that you can download. Um, there's a few websites where you can get it, but I'm sure you'll find it. And we don't want it to be green. We want it to be black I guess gold I don't know fuck it black doesn't really matter actually no we're gonna make a white we're gonna make a white white text and that is super big uh, let's just go with the 72 Lex outro and we're gonna make it smaller yeah, shift. Make it a little bit smaller. We'll go with 60. 60 still won't fit. We'll go 48. 48 looks good. Bam. And you can, uh, to edit text or edit any site type of image, image in Photoshop, you double click on the blank space. Don't double click where the text is because then it'll let you edit the text. And we can add a bevel. And what that does is it makes it look kind of like 3D-ish. It makes it look pop out. And uh, contour basically it increases the bevel. Makes it like m deeper. And we can add a texture to it to make it look kind of cool. You can add a stroke to put an outline on it. Makes it stand out. Uh, if you don't like the stroke, you can also put an outer glow on it. And you can change the outer glow uh, to any color that you like. Say you like yellow. Say you like uh, the red. All right, let's see how red looks. And you can make it bigger. Yay, it's not doing anything. Awesome. Way to do a tutorial video, you dumbass. All right, we're going to actually just cancel the, uh, the, the, the outer glow. Drop shadow, and you can edit the distance to make it like you know more 3d effect it's not actually 3d text it's just making basic text look 3d 
you can go through all of these and add any one of these that you want. You can add, you can uh, ver um, modify them any way you want. And all right, you guys, you can figure that out. That actually looks kind of cool. All right, we'll leave that. So that's the text. The next thing, you know, you might want to have like um, a Twitter. Uh, images, Twitter, um, the bird looks good. Save image, we're going to save it into my folder called tutorial. We're going to save it there. We're going to open up that folder. We're going to open this in Photoshop, Photo de Shops. And it is a locked logo. Any any um, JPEG photo is locked, so you have to unlock it. Just make it into a layer, and you can drag it over up here, and it'll drop it down in here. We're going to get rid of the white by using this wand. It picks any color that you want. Say I wanted to get rid of the blue, which I don't. I want to get rid of the white, and we're going to just delete it. Bam. Control D deselects anything and we can move this wherever we want and we're also control T lets you resize things so I hit control T we're gonna resize it and double click on it just ends it or you can uh, next time you click anything it'll say do you want are you done editing the size and you say yes and we are also going to give it some sort of like pop out look and we're gonna drop the shadow that's good enough and BAM and what other thing? What other thing do we need? Uh, we might actually move this uh, up here. And we'll grab a uh, Facebook. Facebook eh, logo. Find something similar, basic. I love this. This is really cool. Um, I've used them before. Hmm. I guess the most. We'll use this guy. This guy looks good. Save image. Yep. But it's a PNG. And we're going to go into it. And we're going to open it in Photoshop. Photo de Shops. It's not locked because it's a PNG file. So you can just drag it up in here, pop it in here. Control T to edit the size. Let's make it roughly the same. Roughly the same size as the bird. That looks about right. We'll put it there. And we will edit it as well. We will do this and drop shadow. Good enough. Bam, done. The next thing you want to do is you want to create where your outro videos are going to go. Now, a lot of people, what they do is they just throw the video on top of the page. So they create their outgo, they treat, create their out, outro uh, image, and then they just throw the videos on top. That is not the best way to do it. The best way to do it is to create uh, an area. Now, we want it fixed ratio. 16 by 9 is standard uh, widescreen resolution. So you want to do 16 by 9. So anything, any type of box you create is going to be 16 by 9. It doesn't matter how you drag it. It's 16 by 9 every time. So we're going to make one about this size. And we're going to fill it. Now we're going to fill it with green because that's the, the color. Remember I told you at the beginning, you don't want to have any color on here. You want to pick one color that you do not have on your image. So I don't have green. Because of the fact that I'm using green uh, for the green screen, it works out perfectly. And we are going to fill it. Now you can use this paint bucket or you can hit Alt Backspace. And that will fill the image. Control D to deselect. Now it has all these things. What I want is I want a stroke so it has an outline. And I want to get rid of this because I don't want, there we go. And the shadow's fine. Let's make it a deeper shadow. 
There we go. Oh, okay. It's editing the other one. It's editing the Facebook, but whatever. <clears throat> All right. Why are you editing? Oh, because you're on the Facebook, you son of a bitch. Why am I so stupid? Meh. Whatever. All right, we're going to just duplicate this layer. Yeah. And inside this layer, we're going to delete this, what I just created, which is fine. And on this layer, we are going to delete the Facebook thing that I screwed up. So now they're both separate. All right. Uh, you can also lock them, so that way I, you don't screw up like I just did. So we're going to highlight all these and hit lock. Now I can't mess them up anymore. So we're back on this one. Now we can edit the the drop shadow, make it deeper. There you go. Bam. You don't want to do anything so it affects the inside where the green is. Because when you're green screening it in your video program. Alright, we got to get going. Alright, so we need to duplicate this layer. Make another copy of it. And we're going to deselect because I have it selected. Make it about there. That looks good. So there's my basic outro video. Done. Alright. We are going to save as JPEG in my gameplay tutorial in my tutorial max resolution so it's as clear as completely possible so that's done bam next thing we're gonna do is open Premiere Pro I'm using CS6 Premiere Pro you can use whatever video um, editing program you want I'm gonna create a new project we're going to put it into tutorial and we're gonna call it tutorial is fine yeah, and we're going to call it tutorial. Outro toot. Creating a new project. And I do mine at 720. You guys can do yours at 1080, uh, 1080p, 1080i. Uh, 1080i is obviously better. Or 1080p is obviously better than 1080i. Um, it only has the option of 24 frames per second, which is bizarre. So I'm going to do mine. I do mine at 60 frames per second, so that way you can edit them better. But whatever. Outro. 60 frames a second. It's going to create it for me. Eventually. All right. Now we're going to go into my tutorial video and grab the image I just created. Bam. Throw it on the timeline. How long do you want your intro video? Control plus sign zooms in on the timeline. Sorry, just plus sign, not control plus sign. Most outro videos are four to five seconds. So we're going to leave it at five seconds. That's perfectly fine. And then we are going to um, add some sound. Now, uh, you need... I gotta find that sound. Where did I put the? Where did I put the? I think this is the thing I just I grabbed. Okay, so this is the outro song I have from before. Put it on the. No, uh, there's the audio file. Put it on the audio file. Videos on the top, audios on the bottom. This is your actual output, like this is your thing. And then we are going to hit play. So, actually, most sorry, my bad. Most that's intro videos. In intro videos are uh, five seconds, outro videos are usually. 30 seconds from 20 to 30 seconds so it doesn't have to be a so you want it to basic it doesn't really matter whatever so this is going to be my outro video 
so we're going to this all just cuts it basically you can hit where you ever wherever you are you can hit um, use the cut tool and then just splice it and then delete what you have or you can do what I did and just drag it and it doesn't it doesn't stretch it it doesn't alter the sound it doesn't affect the sound all it is is saying you want it to end here when you're dragging it along so I want it to end here to match up with this so as it sits this is my outro video I'm gonna uh, turn it down so you guys aren't blasted with bullshit. Space bars play, by the way. You got the gist of it. So that's the video. That's the video itself. And you want to, um, you can either go file. Uh, export export media or the shortcut is control M control M will export it and we want to export it as a h.264 and that is a, that is an mp4 file format and we're gonna go down to 720 HD 720 I usually export my videos at 30 frames which it, which the legit is 29.97 um, I usually export the videos because YouTube can't handle um, 60 frames a second. I think, it'll, I think it only handles 30. It might even only handle 24. But I edit them in 60 frames per second so that way you can make minor adjustments a lot better. So we are going to export it as a that and we're going to put it inside my tutorial video. For so we're going to save it there. It is going to export my video. And you can change the resolution. But because there's not really any animation, there's nothing going on in the outro video, you can leave it at the preset settings. You might even be able to lower it a little bit. Let's just export this and get continue on. And here we go. Now let's take a look at it. Let's see how it sounds. This is my outro video. Pretty basic. It looks like shit. Obviously, you guys can uh, make it look better. This is just a quick fix. Bam, done. All right. Now, now that we've created that, we can br we can up uh, bring that in. And so now it's its own video. So you can go file new new file new new sequence. New project will create an entirely new folder with with brand new everything in it. New sequence is just a new it's basically like a new file inside inside um a uh, new video or you can hit control N and we're gonna mm, call this uh, outro final 60 frames a second again so it starts a new one and we are going to bring in our new outro video and I have this set up to always ask but I want to keep it because this is at the uh, 30 frames a second and I have the it at 60 frames a second in here now the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to grab it's called key it's when you're keying something it that's what green screening is called keying you use ultra key you drag it on top of the file you go into the effects of things that you've added and you say I want to get rid of green now green not only is not there like it's obviously gone but it, it basically cuts it out. So it's gone. So if you put anything behind this image, you'll be able to see it. And that's what we're going to do. We are going to grab um, some commentaries. Let's grab um, a Crisis 3. And let's grab uh, this one. So now we have two videos. And we're going to bring you up there. We're going to lock you so nobody can touch you, and we're going to lock you so nobody can touch you. you. The best thing you do want to do is you do want to lock your thing so that way you cannot mess it up yourself. So there's the first one. And we will bring in the second one. You piece of shit. Now, 
basically how it works is layers. It works on layers, Premiere Pro, any type of um, Adobe product works on layers. So whatever's at the top, you're going to see first. So because I cut out that image in the, in the, um, the green screen, I cut it out, I can see through it, but anything I did not is, is gone. So we're going to resize them once it's all loaded. It has reloaded. So we're going to change the effects. We're going to go to motion. We're going to go to size. Now, I don't know the exact size, so we can just drag it. This is the motion. This one is ver horizontal. This one is vertical. And we're going to make this one not visible because I can't see if I'm on it or not. And let's go mid-game play. Now, your sizes are going to be different. It depended on how big you made your actual green screen windows. Basically, you want to adjust it so it looks like everything is in there that looks good so 40 is the size so we are done with that one and let's go to the second one and make it visible and motion we're gonna make this 40 and then we're gonna drag it over here I'm gonna lower it that's that so obviously you can make your videos better and um, now we're going to zoom out using the minus symbol and we are going to uh, actually leave the, the intro videos so that way you guys can see them so this is my whole playing field right, I'm gonna hit control save just so that way it doesn't whatever reason Spacebar plays them. And let's adjust the audio levels. Hey, Not how's everybody here. doing? My name's Lex Coop and I'm back. And I'm bringing you... Um, level 1... No. Level 2 and level 3. Level 2... Is this one? Let's drop it down. You don't really want sound. You want just the outro video. But say you want one to have one. We'll go like that. Actually, which one is the crisis one that was level 2? So we'll go like this. Actually, you know what? Yeah. yeah. There we go. So now you'll only hear the first, the one of the ones. The other one I dropped it completely down to zero. Hey, how's everybody doing? My name is it's Chris really Bagger, quiet. And I'm bringing you some uh, Crisis Three. Uh, this is from the beta. Obviously, you can see in the top left corner. It says my name and it says beta. That's the sound. And then you can uh, adjust it accordingly, beta. making it uh, now. I am playing a game mode making where them both quiet, which is what a lot of people like to do. You just have your music that's going on in the background. So that's the outro video. Now I would only print this video. Basically, you use this, the outro video that you've created, and you print it at the end and you do this every time you're making a video that's what I do I make a full commentary and then at the end I drag in my outro video I ta uh, key remember type in key into your effects search key um, th there's different there's luminous keys there's all different type of keying I use uh, ultra key because I found that it works perfectly for what I need to do and that was originally how I learned how to use it I drag the keyframe over to the outro video Take out the color I don't want to be there. Put the other two videos behind the first layer and um, export the video. So if we want to export this video, it's saving the preset settings because in this project, I have set these settings. Normally, I export all my videos at 10. And we'll do it at now anyways. It's 30 seconds, so it shouldn't take long. I will chop this up, so I'll be right back. All right, so it's finished. And let's check out how it looks. And that's this one right here. So this is what you put at the end of your video. Quality's really good. Um, you know, obviously you're gonna make your own background image. That's what's important. And uh, so that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial that I just gave to you. And uh, this is Lex Coop saying rate, comp, subscribe. Do what you do, skadoosh.